This is going to be a movie in a response to Paris Marx. I'm going to start to have a discussion with him, a dialogue with him, on the movies he's put out. Some of them are very old. I mean, well, very old. A year old. So I'm going to start with one of the movies in which he describes what he thinks propaganda is. Why am I making this movie? Because I might refer back to it in responding to his movies later on. I hope you will enjoy my little brain thought, brain fart, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's start. Comrades, what is propaganda? Well, I like that you start with a question, Tovarish. To me, propaganda is trying to make a point whilst ignoring the truth, or using part of the truth to ignore another part of the truth. But these are quite backwater explanations, obviously. So I'm pretty sure you're going to give us a better one, right? If we're to believe the mainstream media and our corporate governments, it's information that promotes an opposing view, often ignoring the facts. Why would we believe mainstream media for this? And which government is corporate? I mean, most countries have a democratic chosen or somewhat democratic chosen government. Now, I won't lie that there are plenty of country out there with a government that is as corrupt as can be because of corporate influences. But nowhere do we have a corporate government, not as far as it's seen. When we hear the word propaganda, it's often preceded by words like communist, fascist, Islamic, and other words that are meant to make us feel as though there's something wrong with that information. Well, this is more meta-information about what propaganda is. I mean, this does not say anything about what propaganda is, but only how propaganda is used. I agree with you, by the way. I mean, we talk about communistic propaganda, we talk about Islamic propaganda, anarchistic propaganda, but we also talk about Western propaganda. Maybe not so much in the Western world, but if you look at media outside of the main circles, you will hear the word propaganda used a lot as well. But I'm still looking for a definition of what propaganda is. Now, I like the bit where you said this is what the media likes you to think, or what the corporate governments like you to think, but you haven't really given me a definition of what you think it is. But is that the truth? No, of course not. The Americans, the Brits, everyone uses propaganda to promote their own causes and values. They like to pretend their propaganda is the truth, and opposing propaganda is all lies. Yes, and to my understanding, that's why you use propaganda. That's the whole meaning of what I thought propaganda was, trying to use stories to influence the thoughts of others. It doesn't have to be the truth, as long as they think it's the truth. And as you yourself now more or less admit, it's not only the West that does this, this is being done by everyone. But what, in your definition, is propaganda? The Western media does a great job of this. They pretend to be unbiased and to present both sides to a story, but what they're actually doing is setting the expectation for the two extreme views for whatever issue is being discussed. There are definitely situations where I can agree on that this is what's happening. So, I agree with you that this is not always a good thing, or rather, it's usually seen as a bad thing by me. And I think other people should see it as a bad thing too. Yet, I am still waiting for what you think the definition of propaganda is. Let me give you an example. If the Western media runs a story on climate change, which views would their guests hold? They'd probably invite a climate change denier, to be fair, or at least someone who says we should delay action on climate change until the science is settled, as if it's not already. Their other guest would advocate addressing climate change, but they would say it needs to be done through the market. Sure, they might accept some government regulations, but in the end, they would say capitalism can address the problem of climate change which we know is bullshit. Okay, maybe I should give up hope on you actually giving a definition of what propaganda is. And what you're doing, or what you're explaining here, is how propaganda is being used at work. And you're doing it in a way that is perfectly propagandic. Is propagandic even a word? I don't know. But you are now 
creating propaganda on why you think that the climate change thing discussions are going bad, even though what you're doing is not telling the truth. Because there are plenty of talks on climate change where they will have a denier and, and an advocate of climate change and they will talk about how to deal with it. And is all the science in? Well, I'm a believer of climate change, if I think that's the best word. But I also know that not all the data is in. We don't know everything about why the climate change is happening. What we do know is that there's the hand of humans in it, but it's not only humans that crossed the climate change. That being said, though, capitalism is well able to deal with the situation. The problem is we have a plutocracy in our biggest economic systems, and therefore capitalism isn't dealing with the situation because capitalism isn't in those systems. Plutocracies kind of destroy capitalistic systems. Plutocracies are big companies trying to make sure that small companies don't stand up. Doesn't really matter much, but the point is capitalism can deal with the situation. Unfortunately, it doesn't because reasons. I'm not saying capitalism is the only system that can deal with it. I'm saying it can. You are, by definition, saying it cannot because capitalism. And that's wrong. So basically what you're doing is you're using propaganda. Would someone who says the only way to address climate change is through a complete overhaul of our current system be invited onto such a panel? No, it's incredibly unlikely, even though a growing number of scientists hold that opinion, because capitalism and our false democracies have proven unable to deal with the realities of climate change and addressing the coming crisis. Yeah, you know, you're creating propaganda. We know that we do not need a complete overhaul of the system. We need an overhaul of our energy production system. There are so many other things that do not need to be overhauled just to do this. We also know that scientists are invited to come and talk on policy making issue stuff. I mean, did you forget the Tokyo conference? Which, okay, didn't go quite as people had planned, but it did happen. The, you are cherry picking out certain results and using that to claim your point. Welcome to Propaganda 101. But you haven't given me a definition of propaganda yet. Can I still expect one? So what then is the media telling its viewers about the climate change debate? On one side they have the denier, and on the other is the person who advocates addressing climate change, but through the market. The growing opinion that the current system, that capitalism, can't address climate change, isn't presented to the viewers. Sigh. You know, I myself, I am not a capitalist. I'm not a proponent of capitalism, and I don't think capitalism is the best system we have. I wouldn't know what the best system would be, though. I mean, I once thought of myself as a socialist, but in all fairness, I know I'm not a socialist either. I'm social. I believe that, but I'm not a socialist, so I'm not quite sure where I'm going with myself on this one. But I do know capitalism is not the only proponent that can handle it. But they can handle it. There is no reason why capitalism shouldn't be able to deal with the situation. Because it's in the best interest of a capitalist to make money. And the best ideas will eventually float to the top. This is why I am again saying we do not have capitalistic markets anymore. There are trade agreements being made over and over and over. Basically, trade agreements are protection of markets. This is not what capitalism is. As soon as you start talking about protecting a market, you are stepping away from capitalism. So any protected market in the world, be they communistic or democratic, isn't a capitalistic system. And, and trying to deny that because it doesn't suit your narrative, fine, go ahead. But then what you're doing is propaganda. Propaganda isn't done by the biggest screamer or the biggest organization. Propaganda is trying to get your point across even though you're not telling the truth. You are not telling the truth. This is propaganda at its best.
It's invisible. The viewers are given the range of the debate and they need to decide which side they fall on. Of the views presented by the media. If the media doesn't present a view because it challenges the system they benefit from, how would the masses even know it exists? No, you're wrong. Yes, what they're doing is wrong as well. And yes, you might call it propaganda. I don't mind. It doesn't matter. The news outlets are not the only source of information for people. You claiming that the masses only know what the media tells them basically shows your disrespect for the masses. If there is a question and you do not know the answer, you can listen to someone who gives you the answer or you can look up the answer. These are choices that people make. Not everyone has the same answer to the same social issues. This is why there are so many different social systems. This is why there are so many different religions. And what you're now saying is that they're all bad because a small part of people is telling you something which is wrong. Do you not recognize that this is exactly what you're doing, but probably not for that bigger group, but just for a smaller group? You're trying to get people to fall into your line of thinking, which is just as apprehensible. Why don't you recognize this? You're creating propaganda for your point by pointing out the propaganda of someone else. You're both wrong. For example, if we take the climate issue, because you like bringing the climate issue up, there are lots of things we still do not know. Is it going bad? Yeah, it is going bad. CO2 is going up. And this might eventually be a human-destroying catastrophe if we do not check it. Fair enough. Can capitalism deal with the system? No, you say, because capitalism is only interested in making money. Yeah, but if everyone's dead, capitalism won't be making money either. So, no, capitalism can deal with it. So why isn't capitalism dealing with it? Because people are being stopped. Why are people being stopped? Because governments and big corporations are making agreements. That's the problem. That's what you should be focusing on. But instead of focusing on that, you focus on how the news media is not telling us the truth. Well, duh, that's not news. Well, the information is out there. But funny enough, it's the same information you are ignoring. But you keep using it as an example. Mind you, by the way, we're almost through your movie, and I know I talk a lot. I still haven't heard your definition of what you think propaganda is. Is it coming anytime soon? Probably not. Why name this new show Propaganda? It's simple. My views don't line up with those of Western capitalists. I think the current system should be crushed. You'll be hearing the opinions and reactions of someone on the far left, and I have no interest in hiding my bias. I'm not the Western mainstream media, which would have you believe it presents an unbiased view of the world, when really all you get are the views of Western capitalists and their corporate overlords. I'll be presenting you with my views and the opinions of those I respect. I'm owning them and taking back a word capitalists have tried to smear. Propaganda, when done for the right purposes, isn't a bad thing. I'd argue we need more of it. Comrades, I'll be posting new propaganda on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. So not only are you not going to give us your definition of the word propaganda, you're claiming that you're going to use propaganda to fight back the system. I'm sorry, I'm paraphrasing there, I guess. Um, you know, I'm, I'm left in my thinking as well. Not as left as you are. I won't say you're aggressive left because I haven't seen all your movies yet. But you are not being honest. And if you think that you can use a weapon to fight a weapon, then I'm sorry, you're wrong. And two wrongs don't make a right. So if your claim is they're using this weapon but they're wrong, so I'm going to use this weapon and I'll be right, then you haven't got a clue what you're on about, have you? Sorry, you're trying to fight fire with fire and no, that won't work. Basically, what you're saying is 
they are lying about something, therefore I feel I'm inclined or allowed to lie about something else. There is no propaganda that needs to be held up. If you want to fight a bad idea, you fight it with the truth. It's kind of funny though. I mean, you have made a whole movie about what you think propaganda is and you haven't given us a single definition. But all the time, right behind you is a book that basically has the title All Art is Propaganda. So, I mean... Yes, your ideology is showing, I understand, but why can you not give a definition of what you think propaganda is? Because then I can use it to look with you or against you, I don't mind. But now you force me to use the definition of someone else. So, this is what I found. Propaganda is the deliberate, systematic attempt to shape perception manipulate cognition and direct behavior to achieve a response that furthers the desired intent of the propagandist. This is what you say you want to do. According to the NATO, any information, ideas, doctrines or special appeals disseminated to influence the opinions, emotions, attitudes or behavior of any specified group in order to benefit the sponsor, either directly or indirectly, is propaganda. This is what you said you want to do. So, propaganda is anything you can do to manipulate opinions or thoughts. Which is not difficult. I mean, it's very easy to manipulate people. Um, it also says something about the person that wants to manipulate people. I rather have people think about what the truth is. I can give you my truth. And I hope on my truth you will think, and then you will make your own truth. And the thing is, we can both have the exact same argument, and we can both have the exact same pile of evidence, and we can still come to a different conclusion. Because we still have our own biases towards what we think the truth is. That's inherently not bad. What you're talking about is totalitarianism. We have to agree with you. This is inherently bad. But okay, I'm going to use this one from now on because you didn't give me another definition of propaganda. But with this definition, I will look at your other movies as well. And maybe that's unfair because you already said you're going to be using propaganda to teach the masses thank you oh great master but you do realize how unfair you are right or don't you realize that that's even worse then again the road to hell is paved with good intentions so maybe you are actually thinking you're doing good you're not though are you anyway this movie is not just for paris marx everyone else is free to watch and respond as well I mean, you cannot have a discussion without people. And don't worry if you do not agree with me. I like to hear from you nonetheless. I mean, how can I ever figure out if my viewpoints are correct if I do not hold them up to scrutiny? This is probably one of the things I... Anyway, I digress again. Please like, share and subscribe. Uh, drop comments down below. And see you all next time. <laughs>